Hey, good afternoon all our friends over at the YouTube channel. We really do appreciate you for always tuning in. I want to show you where we're at on this magnificent retaining wall. As you can see, in an exceptional fashion, we've already been able to uh, give this customer the first tier of this landscape transformation. Um, if you've subscribed to this channel, then you've probably seen a lot of the videos that we've been putting out over the last several weeks. We want to go ahead and get you to hit the subscribe button. We want to make sure you're following us, folks, because we do a lot of outdoor landscape transformations. And it just gives you an opportunity to offer to your customers a lot more effective ways to deal with the landscape. But what you're looking at here is just a uh, typical retaining wall. We've used a timber retaining wall in order to deal with this customer's landscape. The entire landscape looked like this. Uh, about two months ago and so we've come in in phases I just want to encourage you guys if you got a customer and they got a lot of landscaping to do because landscaping is expensive and so if they have a lot of landscaping that they need done I want to encourage you to figure out a way to work with them on a phase process and so it may even require three or four phases um, as you can see this landscape looked like this before we got started um, and we've been able to turn it into an outdoor oasis with this magnificent uh, landscape transformation. We're getting ready to put in our Xeon Zorgia side. Just going to make this outdoor landscape a little bit more unique. Um, but right now what you're looking at is this timber retaining wall. Uh, we've backfilled it with 57 gravel. But then we've also put in a uh, felt the fabric that keeps that from going down to bare dirt. I just want to show you real quick some tactics that I use personally. Um, anytime I get ready to do um, any type of grading or any type of uh, work where we're kind of like digging out for a retaining wall, uh, rather than using a shovel, I like to use a pickaxe. And the reason I use a pickaxe because it gets my dirt to a position to where it's, it's, it's simply uh, just knocking it back and then picking it up. And sometimes people will say, well, hey, yeah, I'd have to use two different tools. That's okay because effectiveness is the key. And sometimes you can find yourself moving two times as faster as the person that was using one instrument. And if that's the case, then it just says that your process was probably a little bit better. And so that's what we teach over at Brooks Landscape University is an opportunity to figure out a process that may work well for you. Um, and, and ultimately, it's going to be one that you can kind of uh, adapt to and believe in. But, you know, one of the effective things that we've been able to do here is says that we had to build a retaining wall, but then we also had to cut out that wall. And so to help you understand how much we've cut out based on the fact that we don't have a bobcat out here um, because we, we just couldn't get it back here based on the landscape definition, it says that from this point here where the shovel is all the way to here, we've been able to excavate. And, and in doing so, we would have had to uh, go all the way back, but then we would have also had to take that dirt and do something with it. And so one of the most effective things that you can do if you're a landscaper is look at innovative ways in which you can utilize that dirt on your landscape in order to try to put something together that allow for you to be able to to uh, not have to do away with that dirt. A lot of the dirt we're gonna be using behind this retaining wall, we've already backfilled it with that 57 gravel, but then we're also gonna be using it down here to grade this area out. And so that's another great combination that you can utilize as you begin to wonder what you're gonna do with your dirt or access uh, materials as you do your landscaping. But just wanted to show you what we were at on this and just kind of give you some quick landscaping tips. Uh, I believe 75% of everything that you do in landscaping has to do with your landscape grade. And so if it has to do with your landscape grade, then it says that uh, don't be afraid to use two tools instead of one. And those two tools are going to be your pickaxe and your spade and or flat shovel. Because if you use your pickaxe, you're going to get so much further. You're going to be able to get so much more done. And then you would have found yourself just working at moving that dirt. And so that's what we've done here effectively. We want to encourage all you guys that are out there in the landscaping field to continue to work hard. I believe anybody can start their own landscaping business. And all it takes is a concerted effort. And you got to be dedicated. And... What we teach you at Brooks Landscaping is how to pick up the, the pick up the torch exactly where I left it off at, and that just simply says that there are many that have the capability, um, but will you take possession of your mind to believe that it can be done? Is the biggest question. So, as I take you all the way down through here, you can see that this is absolutely amazing. And it just illustrates what you can do as well. So let me know if we can help you out. Just want you guys to see that. 